Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're going to take a look at installing and configuring the real-time clock on the Raspberry Pi. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Before we get to today's video, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so first things first, when you get these little, let's see if I can get this to focus, when you get these uh, little real-time clocks, there's absolutely no directions in the box. Uh, you just get uh, the Raspberry Pi, or I'm sorry, the real-time clock in a little anti-static bag. What you want to do, it's got uh, five pins here. We're going to install that on the Pi. I'll see if I can do this on camera. I'm going to plug it in to the first five pins on the inside with the real-time clock facing to the inside. Let's see if I can... Maybe that'll focus there. So you can see the way that is installed. All right, let's jump over to the computer because this will only take a couple of more minutes to get this thing completely installed and configured. Okay, so now that we're over on the Raspberry Pi, the first thing we need to do is enable the I2C interface. So let's go up to the uh, Start menu. Let's come down to Preferences and Raspberry Pi Configuration. Once this opens up, let's go over to the Interfaces tab, and you'll see I2C here is disabled. Let's click Enable on that and say OK. Now let's go ahead and open up the terminal window and let's go grab the script that I've written to make this super simple. Now I'm going to show you two different ways to uh, install this. I'll show you the long way and then kind of the shortcut way. And in case you're wondering, uh, this is the website that I got these directions off of and use the directions found here to build the script, but I'll leave a link to this down in the description below in case you guys want to do it uh, the longhand way. So we'll head over to my GitHub site, and that is github.com forward slash km4ack. And again, I'll leave links to all of this down in the description below as well. We're going to click on the Pi scripts, and we're going to scroll down until we see RTC for real time clock. Let's click on that, and once that opens up, be sure to click on the raw button. If you don't do this, you're going to get an error here. Once you uh, click on the raw button, let's come right up to the top and let's copy that address and head back over to the Pi. Once on the Pi, let's move to the downloads directory with CD space downloads. And then let's use the, i tell you what, let me list that out and see what I've got in there. I've got a few things in there. Uh, so let me quickly remove all of the uh, zipped files. I just built this Raspberry Pi last night based on the new uh, Build-A-Pi 2 script that's coming out. All right, so uh, now I should have a few less things in there. Let's use our wget command and let's paste in that link that we just copied. Go ahead and hit return. All right, I'll just clear that screen. We'll list it out again and you'll see that we have the RTC script there. We need to make that executable, so let's run chmod plus x RTC and hit the return button. And if we list that out again, you'll now see that that script is in green. So we can run that with a simple dot forward slash RTC. If I hit enter right now, it'll go ahead and install and configure that. Now let's show you a bit of a shortcut to make this happen uh, with basically one line of code. So first thing I'm going to do is list that out again and I'm just going to remove the RTC file with RM space RTC and you'll see that that script is now deleted out of our downloads folder. 
Okay, so I'll clear the screen again. I'm going to expand this out just a little bit, make sure we have enough room here. I'm going to run wget space. I'm going to paste in that same link that we copied from the website while ago. See if I can get enough screen real estate here. I'm going to say space and and are two and signs. Space bash RTC. Now with this command it's going to go ahead and download and then run the script. So let's go ahead and hit return and it should take care of everything for us. It's going to ask you when the script runs does the time look correct? I can look right up here in the top right now. I'm still sitting on Zulu time right now but that time does look correct for my Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to say yes. It's going to ask me, do I see the number 68? Uh, and we're looking right here. There's the number 68. So we can say yes. Go ahead and press return again. And that's it. You're done. Your real-time clock is now set up and working. If you want to see the time on your real-time clock, we can do sudo space hw clock space hyphen r to read the time on the real-time clock. You'll notice it is 1540 on the real-time clock and that matches what's up here in the top right hand corner for my Raspberry Pi. Another way you could do that is you could run the date command which tells you what the Pi sees at this particular moment and then run this and you'll see that those are very close. The only time difference is what it took me to get both commands in there. Now, you do want to make sure that you uh, have accurate time on your Raspberry Pi when you start. The easiest way to do that is to connect to the internet. Uh, if you don't have internet available, you can also use a GPS dongle, grab the time off of it uh, once it synchronizes with the, or once it gets a lock on the satellites, and then you could use that time source to set this as well. But literally, it should only take you about 90 seconds uh, to plug up the real-time clock to this and go through uh, one of the two different ways that I showed you to install the real-time clock. So no need to type a bunch of commands and uh, go through various files and uh, try to modify different files. We can run one line of code and have it all taken care of for us. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off, and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.